Welcome to Spin Town, Spin Town, Creepers in the Blue and Gold. Spin Town, Spin Town, the Grim Reaper's gonna get your soul. In the cobble pit you get your soul, don't even try resisting in Spin Town. Spin Town! Welcome to Spin Town, everyone. We're here on my private server again, taking over the world as we do with a man named Mark and myself. And we're going to show off some new things that I've built. Uh, well, not in my village, but under my village. What's up, Mark? Uh, not much. What's up with you? You know, that's kind of a safety hazard that's not made for walking. You were up here earlier. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> but you can anyway. climb that jungle tree in your tree farm over there and get on top of the barn. Oh, yeah. I figured. The vines. Uh, I made a zombie and cave spider XP farm. Um, I don't know if they work or not. I build them off YouTube videos with... Like, maybe a change or two here or there, but it's pretty much exactly like the YouTube video um, showed me how to do it. But they're still lit up. Have not really tested it yet, so that's what we're going to do in today's video. And eventually, if it works, I plan on going through and um, upgrading them with redstone and lanterns so that I can just turn them off with the lever, light them up whenever I want to, and turn it out, obviously. So I think that'd be better than just having them constantly on. Mm hmm it's a long climb down, and this first one right here, which is the zombie spawner, I wish the spawner was maybe five blocks higher, because right now the drop isn't enough to take them down, but like the bare minimum, so you can kill them like just by punching them. Uh, you kind of need to have like a sword or something out to kill them in one hit for the most part now, or, or just like you know something really enchanted like I'm sure Mark has. But I don't know if a stone sword would even do it. You'd probably need something a little stronger than that. But to uh, activate it, I'm going to have to go in there and uh, bust some torches. Mark, you can stay here if you want while right. I do that. And you can tell me if things start dropping. <laughs> You're probably going to get attacked by a baby because you made this big enough for him to fit through. I think you'll be fine. But, yep, yeah, right there is the spawner. I didn't make a door. I should probably make a door. I'm just going to bust through it at the moment. And if I fall through there, don't kill me, Mark. All right, I'll try. Pick up my torches for me if they fall in the water there. Oh, damn it. He, I'm falling through. <laughs> no, go down. Go down. Let me out. This video is already not going as planned. All right, made it back onto my little ledge. There was one zombie who spawned, but I didn't see any other. Oh, yet. three fell down. All three? Oh, okay. Cool. Yep. I'll get I killed them already. I should have left them. Oh, that's all right. I'll get rid of this glass window I left here at some point, too. This is just, you know, until it's tested and I'm done working on it, I decided to leave a little window in there. So let's go down where Mark is. Got another customer. Oh, cool. So you think baby zombies will fit through here? I'm pretty sure they're only one block tall. I thought they were a little taller than a block. But if they do manage to get through here, I'm just going to put, like... A layer of trap doors across top that should stop anything from getting through them. I know baby villagers are fit through a block. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, once they fall down from way up there, you just sit here, one hit them with your sword, you get the XP, and there is hoppers all... Well, hold on. There's hoppers over there. You can't really see them from here. Um, I'll break this. Hopefully no more fall. There's the hoppers. And they're connected to this chest over here. So that's how you get your zombie flesh when uh, you're done killing. Very valuable. Yes. Well, you never know what they're going to do. They got new changes for one point. Was it uh, 13 coming out? 13. It's coming out, yeah. Yeah, so they might eventually add another use for zombie meat. But right over here, we have another spawner. I was going to make a double spawner where you can stand in one spot and have them like both spawning at the same time and then have the mobs go together but I started it and I was like you know what this is too much work I'm not really into it <laughs> <laughs> and so I just dumbed it down so we have two different spawners so that's the cave spawner spider spawner there and then we go down here and you left a hole there. yeah well I figured I was going to have to go in here and break these things so I left that intentionally so I'll break stuff, the torches specifically. Okay. These up 
I have depth strider, so this is pretty easy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, they're already spawning. Now we gotta get out of here. And I'll make this look better later as well, so it'll all be smooth down. But you would hit your uh, K spawners through here, and you're not gonna pick up the XP unless you actually go down here and stand in this little corner. Because the XP can't really get through there. But, kill. Oh. And you also have to be careful because you can get poisoned still. You're supposed Looks like to... there's a bit of a flaw. No, you're supposed to stand right here on this block right behind the chest. That's where you do your killing from. But, you know, I totally forgot <laughs> since I haven't used it before. But then you go down here, and once you get down in that little corner, you pick up the XP. So, just like the other spawner, you have the hoppers there that uh, collect all the string and spider eyes and put it in this chest right here. And there's my torches and stuff from where we were taking those down in there. This is but... a safety hazard. <laughs> well, I told you, stand right here and you won't get... I was I was on this block behind the chest, you I think. You stand on this Maybe block. Maybe I was on this block. That's the only safe spot that I'm going to say. Well, I didn't want to hit you. Oh, okay. With my sweeping edge. But in the video from the tutorial, it looked... Uh, like it it worked fairly well so if you need string this isn't a bad option i think the skeleton spawner is still my favorite as far as like trying to get a whole lot of xp because i also get arrows from it so i gave you an infinity book you gave me an infin that's for one bow i'll probably die somewhat soon when i start using that my i've been dying a ton because i've been uh going out and mining a lot and I get like suicide bombed by creepers I must have short arms I can't hit this guy there we go yeah but yeah that's the only thing I got to show off I think for today's video I don't know if there's been much that's changed in my village what about the regular spider one uh yeah I didn't show that off did I so you're right let's go ahead and go over there it's not quite directly under the village but it's very close so we've got Four different spider spawners, or not spider spawners, but uh, mob oh. spiners. Spy I can't even talk anymore, Mark. Mob spawners. Yeah. <laughs> Just in my area alone. And we'll eventually have a blaze spawner right there, too, because my porter takes you directly to... Oh, crap. Um, this isn't good. <laughs> There's all kinds of other mobs in here at the moment. <laughs> in the spider spawner? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit of a flaw. Yeah, I don't know how to fix that, really. Unless I just, again, uh, make this to where I can light it up whenever I want. So they're not spawning down here. You could just put water on the floor. Uh, I could. Okay. You know, or maybe half slabs. You guys stop shooting or me. Slabs, I guess. Eat. I had to eat. But, Okay. You walked right in front of me. I thought you were dead. <laughs> Let me kill that guy down there. Goodbye. But you'll see the spiders spawn over there. They will fall, land way down there, and take a ton of damage. And then they're going to climb up this side. And when they get up here, you should be able to just punch them from the fall damage they took. And they'll die instantly, and you get their XP and the spider eyes and, you know, all the good, that good stuff. Ah, let it get out of here, Mark. <laughs> And the good thing is, is they don't poison you like the other cave spider. So I should be able to one-hit him, see? And the only thing is, you, you do need to make sure they come to you or they're going to fall down there and you lose the XP. So it's not... This is not my favorite spawner at all. But I built this because it was a little bit different from the others. I mean, most spawners are very similar, so at least this one, you know, is a little bit different from the other ones we've got now. I don't know... I have too many different spawner designs. Do you know anything cool we can do for another one? Blaze spawners are pretty unique. So what do you do for a blaze spawner? Well, you gotta funnel all, fun, funnel them all into one area, and then most designs use like a crusher to get them down to one heart. Yeah. They'll suffocate them. So you use like pistons and stuff to just like yeah. crush them, and then they drop the blaze rods. You don't get the XP though, right? Oh, well, you do. Yeah. You do when you crush them still. You deliver. You put a timer on the crusher. Take oh. them down to that one hit. Oh, okay, I got you. Coming, guys. And this is another flaw with this design right here. Is a lot of times when they'll fall down there, they'll start climbing up this side, and then they'll 
like let go and drop a little bit and they die. So they don't even all make it up there. Like, like that, that one. Yeah. So this is not a very effective design, but anyways, I don't really need it. It's just, this is just built for the sake of accomplishing another goal for the servers. Like we were going to have a whole bunch of mobs we're supposed to make um, spawners and grinders for. So this checks one of those off the list, whether we use it or not. So next time, hopefully, we'll do a blaze spawner, or we'll go on adventure to the woodland mansion. Did I just shoot myself? I think you did. How did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> you didn't shoot up, did you? You shot sideways. I guess I'm just that fast. Let me see. Hold on. No. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's going to be happy. I was trying to click the button, so I was like... There, got it. <laughs> no! Yours is a lot stronger than mine. Mine's a power one. Jesus. Good thing you haven't learned to shoot. Okay, maybe you have. The first two hit you on my screen. I don't know what happened. You even lit on fire for both of them. Oh, I, I'm, I'm very, very good at dodgeball, so this is not much different. There, locked you out. Locked you out. <laughs> there. Yeah, I see the other door. <laughs> But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. That's it for today's video. Uh, maybe an adventure next time. Maybe it'd be more mob spawners. I don't know. It's just we got to get everybody together for cer certain adventures. So I still haven't seen Javier since I joined. Yeah, he just hasn't been playing. <laughs> he, he'll play again at some point, but I don't know when. So that's again, it makes it hard to do some of those uh, other bigger adventures without everybody together. So until next time, spin out. All right, we're getting close. We've traveled hundreds of blocks in this damn boat, and now we're finally to the tunnel that connects Jack's area to mine. So, should be pretty easy. No more mountains to traverse. Ow! Okay, need to go slow. I don't want to kill my villager after we've done the hard stuff. But, yeah, I'm trying to get one of every uh, like kind of villager in the game in my village. Uh, so, there's a few I'm trying to collect, and this guy is part of my collection now. I can't believe you did that. Alright, so we have to collect like all the different like curses and like enchantments and stuff that are new to the game since we played Survival Last. And when I say we, I really mean me. So that includes like Curse of Binding, uh, Curse of Vanishing, whatever. And So Mark had a lot of these things already that he had collected and he gave them to Jack to put in the museum. Jack couldn't resist putting the armor on. And of course, with that stuff, you can't take it off. And so he thought to himself, oh, well, I can get it off. I'll kill myself. <laughs> so he kills himself. And obviously, this it's gone now. <laughs> so Jack's wanting to replace it. And he's like, yeah, Jack knows nothing about... Um, the new Minecraft stuff either. He's like me. We're pretty ignorant of this stuff. Although I would not have put that on. I, I would not have done that. So uh, <laughs> I knew not to do that. But yeah, I'm trying to get another villager um, from a far off village back to my area at the moment. So yeah, kind of just boating along the land, going to Jack's place to get to the tunnel again. All right, so this is how I've been getting my villagers um, over mountains and obstacles along this way, because you can't, you can't boat uphill, unfortunately. So I've been trapping them in like little four by four prison, slowly filling it with water, and then when I get to the point where I'm like at the same height as the obstacle I'm trying to get over, I usually just stop and bridge off of it, and then yeah, I've been making a lot of dirt bridges uh, from these things, and then traveling most of the distance up in the air on a dirt bridge with a boat like this <laughs> without falling but a lot of them are pretty high fuck high up in the air so there's got to be easier way to do this i just don't know it and wait a second there you stay there for right now but it's dark i don't want to travel with this guy at night so we're just going to kind of wall him off and we'll finish this in the daytime all right, so I'm in the tunnel that connects my area with Jack's, and I'm in my boat heading to my area. And I run into Mark, who's on a minecart. We collide, and now I'm kind of in a boat and the minecart 
and he lost his ride. I kind of jacked it. <laughs> That's what you get, though. I have the right of way. How do I have the right of way? It's my server. <laughs> no, I, I give him his uh, cart back. I just <laughs> I thought it was funny that I'm literally I'm in the boat and the minecart both. I control them both. I don't know. I didn't know you could do that. It's it's weird. <laughs> yeah, you walk. That's fine. All right. So I guess I should give him his cart back. Um, so I was able to get out. But my villagers still in both, so I just break them with my sword. Um, hmm. What do you suggest, Mr. Villager? Yeah, I think Mark owes me for a new boat. I think. But I was picking up a little speed in that thing. I think the minecart was taking over most of the control. Because the boat could not go as fast as I was going there. See, look at this. See? This is fast. Or I think it's pretty fast for a boat. <laughs> Mind up. Oh, no! My villager. Oh, crap. He's going the wrong way. We just came from that direction. That's bullshit. Stop. I'm going to walk all this again. And then I'm going to have to get in the boat and go all this way again in a boat. This is... This is karma. I stole Mark's boat, or his minecart, and now the villager has stole it from me. Alright, just gotta make this little transition. We gotta switch tracks, get in the cart. There we go. Now, um, this is much better than the boat. This is so much faster. We did, went, oh my, no! Again! He stole my ride a second time. This villager is a jerk. Repeat offender. I'm locking you up when I catch you. All right, pretty sure someone's home. Let's see, up we go. Um, you know, they do have a creepy laugh, but I have a more powerful bow than you have a creepy laugh, so I'm not worried about you. Uh, there's never anything in these things good. I don't know. Maybe we should do like Mark says and turn one into like a, a witch farm. I don't know. I just don't think they'd spawn that often, right? Let's replace. I, I don't want to vandalize. I've already murdered. All right. It should be coming up soon, I think. i got to be in close. Yep, there it is. All right. Uh, there's the mushroom island that Mark found. Mar a man named Mark is the one who found this. It's in his area. Told me about it a, a while back, but this is my first time coming here. And I'm really glad he found it because I'd search my area pretty good, I think, and I couldn't find it. I think Jack had done a fair amount of adventuring in his area. He didn't find it. So it was down to Mark or Javier. That one of them had to find it, and Mark managed to get it. I don't know if it... I think it was his first adventure, he said, in his area. He found it, so that's great. Uh, great area to build in, probably, if you just don't want to have to use a lot of torches to light things up since no mobs will spawn. Aside from these really creepy looking uh, cows, but yeah. Alright, this is bad. <laughs> I almost died because I found the village and I just went running into one of the buildings without really checking. Turns out it was a zombie village. Every villager here is a zombie. Uh, apparently this is kind of a rare thing. I think I remember, I think I'd heard about it before in one of the snapshot updates from some YouTuber. Probably Adam, I don't know. Uh, swimming bird, I mean, um, I, I call him Adam still from back when we used to be in calls together and stuff with Zach, but uh, yeah, this is uh, kind of cool. If it's uh, a rare thing, I'm glad I found it and was able to get it on video. Hey, you guys are trapped. Ha! But yeah, I just ran right into a building just, you know, not expecting there to be any kind of mobs in there that were going to kill me. And sure enough, I get jumped by multiple zombie villagers. I'm surprised they're not more common, though, because, you know, it's, it's so easy for, like, zombies to just basically destroy a, a village and take it over. You would think they just 
they wouldn't despawn once they took over a village. They can just stay there. So you'd think they'd be kind of more common, but come on out. I will get you. There we go. Didn't know I could parkour in here, did you? Ha. Uh, ow. Okay. Didn't parkour out too well, though. Thanks for watching today's video. If you didn't get enough spin time for today, you can click on this annotation right here to watch another recent video. Remember, there's a brand new video here every single Monday, so until then, spin out.